Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to solve another random board exam problem. Okay guys, so this is a part of our engineering mathematics subject. So most of the board exam, 35% guys, yung engineering mathematics. So 35% of your total grade in the board examination. So this problem is concerned about progression. So hindi sinabi sa problem guys kung anong progression, but we can actually determine it based on the problem itself. Okay, so what is the 50th term of the progression 3, 5, 7, and so on? Determine the sum of all the terms. So basically, we're going to get the 50th term of this progression, and we are going to get the sum of those terms from the first term to the 50th term. Okay, so what kind of progression is this? By inspection, we can actually say that this is an arithmetic progression because we have a common difference. So 5 minus 3. We have here 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Then 7 minus 5, yung uh, preceding term, is equal to 2. So we have 2 as our common difference. Okay, so ibig sabihin guys, this is an arithmetic progression. Hanapin natin guys yung 50th term by using the formulas. Okay, by using the formulas na ginagamit natin for the review and by using our calculator technique. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng dalawang type or dalawang way to solve these types of problem. Okay, so yung ating formula for finding the term, any term of the progression, arithmetic progression is we have a sub n that is any term on the progression that is equal to a sub m, another term in the progression plus yung difference ng position or yung kung pang ilang term yung a sub n and then yung a sub m. So, that is n minus m quantity multiply natin yun guys sa common difference okay so that is the formula general formula for finding any term on your arithmetic progression now let's go to the sum okay so the sum of the arithmetic progression or yung tinatawag natin na arithmetic series okay arithmetic series is a term used to denote the sum of the arithmetic progression so arithmetic series equals we have here n over 2, i-divide natin sa 2 yung number of terms of the progression, kung ilan yung i-add nating terms, multiplied by the sum, okay, the quantity, the sum of the first term, and the last term. So, this is the formula na gagamitin natin. Or, you can actually express the sum in terms of the first term, okay? So, derive natin yung formula. So, using a sub n here, the formula, first equation, so a sub n, is equal to, so you have here, let's say, first term yung given. So, a sub 1 plus, you have here, n, n, you have here, pang ilang term yung a sub 1. So, that is the first term. So, m equals 1. So, n minus 1 times d. Then, we just substitute this a sub n here on our uh, sum equation. So, s equals, so you have here, n over 2. So, a sub 1 plus a sub n is, in terms of a sub 1, that is a sub 1 plus we have quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. So, this is the formula for finding the sum in terms of the first term and the common difference and of course, the number of terms. So, you can use this formula. So, this is used for finding any term on the arithmetic progression. This is used for finding the sum and of course, another formula for finding the sum if you are given the first term and the number of terms and of course, the common difference. Since a1 is common, we can actually combine these two. So this becomes 2a sub 1. So s is equal to n over 2 times the quantity 2a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, so that's the formula for finding the sum. Now let's solve this problem. Okay, so what is the 50th term? So what is so what is a sub 50? And what is the sum from the first term to 50th term? So let's say s sub 50. So what is that? So the arithmetic progression is we have here 3, 5, 7. Okay, so and so on up to 50th term. Okay, using the first formula, using the first formula we have so that is a sub n equals a sub m plus we have here n minus m 
times the common difference. So we can get the common difference. So that is, you have here 5 minus 3. So that is 2. That is the common difference D. So what is the 50th term? So A sub 50. Okay, so equals A sub M given tayo guys. You can actually use either uh, first term, second term, or third term. So let's use the first term. So A sub 1 plus we have here N. N natin, that is 50, 50th term. Minus yung pinili nating other term, which is the first term. So that is minus 1. So the first term, M is equal to 1. So times D, the common difference, which is 2. Okay, let's just substitute the value. So A sub 50 equals, so A sub 1 natin is 3. So plus, we have here 50 minus 1, so that is 49. So 49 times 2. Okay, so A sub 50, the 50th term of this arithmetic progression, that is equal to, let's use the calculator to solve this. So this is equal to 101. So 101 is the 50th term. So this is the final answer. So let's go to the choices. So bar exam, guys, of course, my choices. So in the board examination, ang technique natin, if you have solved the first required, 101. Okay, so wag mo na guys isolve yung other term in the board examination. But for example, maraming 101 na choices, of course, you need to verify the other answer. But in this case, since 101 letter B, we can actually say that letter B is the answer. So that is the technique when you are uh, taking up your board exam. Don't solve for the other required if sa choices there are no other uh, answer that matches your first required let's say letter c may 101 okay you don't know whether b or c so you need to verify the other answer uh, for this video let's solve for the other required so the sum is equal to so you have here the sum is equal to n over 2 times the quantity you have here a sub 1 plus a sub n Okay, so we have here n over 2. So n natin is 50, 50th term. So 1 to 50 yung ina add natin. So the first term, the first term is 3 from the given. We have here 3. So plus the last term, which is the 50th term. So 3 plus the last term, 50th term, that is 101. Okay, so this is just equal to, we have here 25 times 104. So this gives us the sum. Okay, S of 50 is equal to 2,000. You have here 2,600. So that is the sum of this arithmetic progression. Okay, so we can verify that the answer is actually letter B. Okay, so this is this is the final answer for this board exam problem. Now let's go to the calculator technique. Gamitin natin guys yung calculator technique to solve this problem. So no written solution, you just need your calculator with you. So, Casio 570ES Plus or yung 911ES Plus will do. Or you can actually use yung Canon. Okay, so Canon for civil engineering students. So, in our calculator, of course, guys, if you're using this calculator, so, i-clear muna natin yung calculator. So, Shift 9, so that is clear all para malinis yung calc -Q. Okay, malinis yung, ano nya, yung data. So, first step that we are going to do is to press... Okay, press natin guys yung mode. Okay, mode. Then, for progression, gagamitin natin is yung stat. Okay, so press natin yung 3. Then, after pressing 3, so makikita natin dito, we have a lot of equations here. So, we all know that arithmetic progression is a linear equation. Therefore, uh, we can actually use itong number 2. So, a plus bx. So, that is linear. So, 2. So, ito guys, bibigyan tayo ng dalawang column. So, X and Y. So, X corresponds to your position or yung kung pang ilang term yung uh, given natin. So, for example here, the first term. So, first term. So, lagay natin 1 equals. Then, ano yung first term natin? So, the first term in this problem is 3. Okay. So, equals lang natin. Then, we have here the second term. Okay, the second term. So, equals lang. The second term is actually 5. Okay? So, minimum of two sets of data. So, hindi pwede maglagay dito guys ng isang matching data lang. So, dapat dalawa para ma-justify niya yung condition. So, you can actually use these two kahit wag mo nang ilagay yung third uh, term which is 7. Or, 
can actually use, pwede mo rin gamitin guys, let's say, uh, second term, second term is 3, okay, second term is, I mean 5, then you can actually use the third uh, term, okay, third term is 7, okay, 7. Okay, you can actually use that, or you can actually use the first and second term, the second and third term, or the first and third term. So, either of those three, as long as you have two sets of matching datas. Okay, so let's just use the first term. Okay, gamitin natin yung pinakasimpleng pwedeng gamitin, the first term. Okay, the first term is 3. Then, the second term is 5. Okay, so that is yung pinakasimple yung pwede natin gamitin. Then, after you input these values here on your calculator, you just press AC. Ayan, AC. After you press AC, you just need to press this, Shift, then Start. So, Shift 1, that is Start. Then, pupunta tayo guys sa number 5, that is Regression. We are going to get the 50th term. So, Regression tayo. So, 5. So, ang inahanap natin dito guys is yung 50th term. So, therefore, that is on the Y column. So, lagay natin yung Y. Yung value ng 50th term. So, Y. So, yung Y hat. Okay. So, yung Y na parang may hat. Then, ilalagay lang natin guys sa coefficient ng Y yung hinahanap nating term. So, that is 50. Okay. So, equals lang natin. That will give us the 50th term of this progression. So, ganun lang guys kadali if you are using your calculator. Now, what about the sum? So, that's how you solve for the term. What about the sum? Now, of course, okay, balikan lang natin. Now, if you are going to get kung pang ilang term ba yung 101, you just use the vice versa. Okay, so for example, so shift, stat, then regression ulit, hanapin natin kung pang ilang term ba, i-verify natin kung pang ilang term ba yung 101. Okay, so ilalagay lang natin, since x is yung kung pang ilang term siya, ilalagay natin yung x hat. So, 4 naman. X naman tayo. Now, kung pang ilan yung 101, ilagay natin yung 101 as a coefficient. Okay. So, 101. So, we can verify that 101 is the 50th term. So, that's how you do it vice versa. Kung sa problem hinahanap, kung pang ilang term. Okay. So, next is how to get the sum. Okay. Sum tayo. AC ulit. Since we are going to get the sum, ilalagay natin guys yung summation, itong may logarithm. So, shift, log. So, that is sum. Then, lagay tayo ng x. So, alpha. So, this is the format guys. Sundin lang natin. So, alpha, x. So, alpha ito. Then, x. Ito. Ayan. Then, lagay tayo guys ng y hat. So, shift. Okay, shift, stat. Then, regression. Then, lagay natin si y hat. So, 5. Then, lagay tayo ng comma here. So, shift, comma. Then, ilagay natin from 1 to 50. So, that is 1, comma, 50. So, this expression here means that we are going to, we are going to get the sum of this progression, arithmetic progression from the first term to the 50th term. Just press equal. So, make sure that the format is like this. Then, press equals. Then, it gives us the same value for that sum. So, same value yung ibibigay sa atin ng calculator regarding kung ano ang gagamitin natin na method. So, this is the quickest way on solving this type of problem. So, I hope guys that you have learned from this video. And of course guys, if you love this video, just click the subscribe button and yung notification bell natin so that ma-update kayo sa mga future uploads ng Engineer Prof. PH. See you guys! Stay safe and God bless you all.